I think this top bar has swarmed today and despite the best efforts of giving them a nuke box hidden in this tree which is a good place unfortunately bees being bees they have not gone there and instead this is where they are it's quite a nice little swarm in the apple tree it's a really tiny apple tree right next to the apiary now I did know that there were queen cells in the top bar but the top bar is not for honey, it's just for bee. And here's the swarm I caught the other day. Yesterday there was a really wonderful swarm, mm -hmm. but it flew over the whole garden, much to my sadness, and um, flew off to the woods. I think it was from a feral colony in a neighbour's roof. This I'm pretty certain is the top bar swarm. And I think that little one, well it's actually not so little, came out of hive one. So I have a kind of desire not to stop bees swarming because it breaks the varroa cycle but you do lose your honey so we're going to put this in a box and uh, give it to a friend so we've just got a, a nuke box and uh, with one old frame in it which is a bit cruddy but uh, We'll just give them something to clean up and start working on. And Tim's going to put it underneath the swarm. So I shake it. Literally shake it in. With a really firm shake. on and leave the lid a little crack open so they can they can make their way in and you'll see whether the queen's in by how they speak keep your eye on the apple tree them oh they're already I think they're already speaking I think they're already oh I can smell the, the pheromones wafting I think that um, Tim's just making this level they're I'm actually exposing the infants more yeah they're wafting Pheromone. So 
I think despite the fact that doing that don't sweep them in because they're telling the other bees where to go so that's yeah but they're already they're starting to go in the entrance as well just to show you bit of smoke just to tempt them off the tree but we'll see and we'll also keep an eye out on the tree branch to make sure that there's no sense that there's a queen up there fanning away this is we've got gland in their bottoms it emits a pheromone and it tells the colony where the queen is and the queen is fortunately in the box and they're all beginning to gather around the little entrance and they're fanning there too. We might give them a bit of help. <laughs> but it's nice to catch them with the most minimum intervention. beginning to know that the Queen's not here and they're walking away and, they're going, and then they take off and they're flying down this bees are saying she's in here coming here slowly we need to begin to close that entrance. They're hurting them. We haven't used any smoke at all. Oh, you can really see they're walking down towards the hive. There's a very small entrance here. Actually, catching a swarm in about 10 minutes. No smoke. Straight into a nuke. So we're just easing the lid on. So just a few minutes later. The lid's on and last bees are going in. There's just a few bees flying around the branch where they 
originally landed. Most of them are coming into the hive. There's only one frame in this hive, an old comb frame. So we'll come back and we'll put more frames in. And then we'll send them off to their new home, a few miles down the road, to another apiary. Mm -hmm.